Hi everyone, today we are going to do the tutorial one and we are in week three now. So our first question is about converting decimal numbers to binary strings and the first number we have is 30. So let's start solving one by one and then we have even decimal numbers and also uh, one more bigger number with decimal. So. I hope at the end of the solution you will have an idea how to convert different kinds of decimal numbers to binary strings. So this is task one solution. And the first number we have is 30. how we start it we start dividing the number every time by 2 and we note down its quotient and remainder so if you divide 30 by 2 you get 15 as the quotient and the remainder will be 0 and then if you divide 15 by 2, the quotient will be 7 and the remainder will be 1. Now we take the next quotient, the quotient that we got just now, 7, and we divide it again by 2 and that gives us 3 as quotient and 1 as remainder. Now we'll take the 3 from the quotient and divide it again by 2 giving us 1 as quotient and 1 as remainder now we'll take the 1 from the quotient again and divide it by 2 this gives us 0 as the quotient and 1 as the remainder so once we reach 0 as the quotient we stop here and we take the remainders from bottom up so we'll take them from bottom up the numbers or the digits will be 1 1 1 1 0 and this is equivalent to 30 okay now we have the second number given to us was 16.25 so how to convert this to binary number we'll take only the integer part at first and then we'll work with the decimal part so taking the integer part we have 16 and we'll divide 16 every time by 2 and note down its quotient and remainder so 16 divided by 2 is 8 and the remainder is 0 then we take the quotient 8 now and we divide it by 2 giving us question 4 and remainder 0 again and we now take the question 4 and divide it by 2 giving us 2 as the question and 0 as the remainder so now we have the question 2 here so we take 2 divided by 2 this gives us uh, 1 here and remainder 0 and now we take the 1 and divide it by 2 this gives us 0 as the quotient and remainder as 1 so the moment we reach 0 as the quotient we stop and we take the numbers in the remainder from bottom up and these are one zero 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 and this is equivalent to 16 okay now we go to the next part which is the decimal part so the decimal part we have here is 0 0.25 and how to convert the decimal number to binary is we take 
the 0 0.25 and multiply it each time by 2 so we get here 0 0.5 as the answer and we'll only take the integer part let me write first here so we only write the integer part down from here so the integer part is the part before the decimal so that's 0 here and the leftover we take which is the 0.5 is what we'll take and multiply by 2 again and this gives us a 1 this time so now again the integer part is 1 itself and we take these numbers now top to bottom so we have 0 0.01 equivalent to 0 0.25 and the whole number now if we write it down 16.25 will look like 1 0 0 so I'm taking it from here so 1 and then 4 zeros point zero 0.01 and this is equivalent to 16.25 okay The next number that we have is 300.375. 300.375. So as you know, first we work with the integer part here. So we have 300 to work with at first. And we'll note down the questions and the remainders. Let me write them a bit further. Okay. So it's 300 divided by 2. The quotient is 150. And the remainder is 0. And then we take the quotient 150 and divide it by 2. That gives us a quotient of 75 with remainder 0 again. And then we take the quotient 75 divided by 2. This gives us the quotient 37 remainder 1. And then we take 37 divided by 2. This gives us the quotient 18 and remainder 1. And then we take 18 divided by 2 giving us 9 and 0. And then we take 9 divided by 2 giving us... 4 and remainder 1 and then we take the 4 divided by 2 we get here 2 and 0 as the remainder we take the quotient 2 now from here and divide by 2 again and we get 1 and 0 as the remainder now we take the quotient 1 divided by 2 and this gives us 0 as the quotient and remainder as 1. So once we reach quotient 0, we are done. And now we will take the numbers as I told before. So bottom up. And that would mean 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0 is equivalent to 300 so we took 100 zero, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero, zero, which is equal to 300 and now we take the decimal part that we have here which is 0.375 so we can say 0 0.375 and we'll convert this to binary digits so here now we'll say the integer part we'll write it here down so we have 0 0.375 times 2 is equal to 0 0.75 the integer part here is the number before the decimal which is 0 so we write here 0 and the number after the decimal which is 0 0.75 we'll take it now 
0.75 and multiplied by 2 so that will give us 1.5 now we'll, for the integer part we'll take the number before the decimal which is 1 so we'll write here 1 and the number after the decimal which is 0.5 we will multiply it by 2 so that will give us a 1 so now we don't have decimal we only have the integer part here so we write here 1 and now these numbers here will take them top to bottom so it's we can see it 0 0.011 is equivalent to 0 0.375 so when you write the whole number down now we have from here we have 1001011 zero, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero, zero, decimal or the radix point and then we write this part here which is 0 1 1 and this is equal to 300.375